Hey guys, welcome back to One Pretty Little Box. I have some exciting news for you. It's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. Our family is growing by four paws. I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to insert a clip of a puppy haul for you because who does not need a puppy haul? And then we come back and kind of share a little bit of the story of how our sweet Shelly came to be in our life. And then at the end, I will show you some clips of when we pick her up and bring her home and the kids reactions because it's going to be priceless. I just know that it is. So hang on, let me give you that haul and then I'll come back and check. Hey guys, um, this is a puppy haul. <laughs> That's kind of been the surprise that we've I've been alluding to for the last few weeks. Um, we are bringing home a sweet little girl. Um, she actually went today for her shots, for her six week old shots. But we have been anticipating this sweet precious baby since before July 4th. And it is now August the 8th. Um, she was born the week, I guess that Monday before the 4th. So we're very, very excited. So let me go through, let me go through everything we've gotten for her so far. Picked up this bed at Target. It is a memory foam bed. It's good up to 50 pounds. Um, she is a full blood German Shepherd. So this, this bed should last her, I'm hoping till Christmas and maybe at Christmas she can have, um, that can be something that Santa brings her as a new bed. So um, as you see, I also picked up some training pads. Um, I double checked with the lady we're getting our puppy from, and she said that she just gets any brand, but she specifically gets this. It's called Out. It's Go Here Attractant, and she sprays this on the pads to attract them to that to kind of help the housebreaking process, which they've already been in the in, in the middle of doing, so I don't want to mess up what's working, and so we got those. Um, I also picked up a leash, a small leash, mind you, like I said, she's a German Shepherd, but she's only six weeks, so we're going to start with this, and we'll gradually go up. I imagine we're going to have to get her a thicker collar um, in the next month or two, so this is just for starters. Um, we do plan on walking her uh, at least once a day, if not twice. So we picked up that. Um, I picked up this little bone. It's just a little um, chewy bone for her just to chew on. Um, I know that I need to take off these tags. I'm just leaving it there. We also picked up this little thing. Um, it's a squeaker toy. And again, it crinkles as well. This is not going to last her very long, being the kind of breed of dog she is. But I really just wanted to get her something to play with um, to start. <clears throat> and that is what we have. Um, you, I do not see, or you do not see, any food or water bowls. Um, she actually will be coming with her own food bowl that they have been used to train her with. And I was waiting to get a matching water bowl. So I need to see what kind of bowl she has. Um, it, Knowing that they went to the vet today, I'm not sure if we're going to get her today or if we're going to get her later this week, but we are very, very excited to welcome her to our home. So we are having a new baby, a four-legged baby, that is. All right, guys, I just wanted to get this all on video before I put this away. Our daughter does not know. Her birthday is Thursday. It is not, this puppy is not for her birthday. This is actually a dog my husband has been wanting for years, um, and it just so happened that the opportunity opened up and uh, we were able to welcome one in our home at just the right time. It's going to be a busy time, but no other time, I guess, than when you're already busy. <laughs> um, and her name is Shelby because we love the movie Still Magnolias and we really wanted a southern name. And so there you go. All right, guys, hopefully the next video you see in this clip or right after this clip will be of us riding with her, bringing her home, and then our family being able to experience those first few moments with a pup in the house, including pumpkin. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm just so excited. Can you tell? Let me start off by saying, um, 
while my heart has always been drawn towards animals, I love them. I love the idea of them being part of your family. We have a cat. You guys have seen Pumpkin. Um, but we're expanding our family a little bit. And the backstory, I kind of told you a little bit in the hall. You know, my husband grew up in a police in a police family. His dad was assistant chief of police for a while before he passed away. And at that time, my husband was young, he was little. And so he remembers having one of the canine German Shepherds from the police department that was retired. And that was their family pet and he loved that dog. And so he has been talking about wanting a German Shepherd um, for our family for gosh, maybe as long as the twins have been born maybe right after that no it was after that because we had gotten um an australian shepherd red healer mix gosh they were little they were little little and of course she she had a little puppies we we got to expand on our family of uh, nine pups at that time plus mama but um she ended up running away and then we moved and you know, now we live in a neighborhood that you can just latch a leash on this sweet girl and take her for a walk, and eventually everybody will know who she is, who she belongs to. But more than that, we have a safe neighborhood and very kind of secluded neighborhood where it's safe for any of us to take her and walk her at any time of day or night. So. I also had told the kids, because they're all like, I want a puppy, I want a puppy. And I'm like, it's going to be a lot for this mama to keep one more person or thing alive. Well, you know, sometimes, sometimes fate has it where things are just brought to our lives at just the right moment, even if we don't realize that it's just the right moment. And a friend of mine had contacted me on Facebook and said, hey, weren't you guys looking for a German Shepherd? And I'm like, yeah, and so she was telling me her neighbor, so I'm going to shut this. Maybe it'll be a little better on the light. I don't know. Sorry. Ah, talk about a close-up there. She had um, remembered that I had posted something probably a year or two ago about um, if anyone knew of anyone who had a German Shepherd for puppies because we wanted it from a pup. We didn't want... We didn't want to adopt an older dog. We really wanted to start with a puppy to train it into our home and be able to fit in. Sometimes when you adopt older dogs with already an established family and pet, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, and it takes a little bit more time. And uh, we live a busy life. Sorry, I'm like, what is that in my bushes, silly boys? Um... We live a very busy life, and especially football season, which is here. It's upon us. The boys are at football practice right now. My daughter's at drill practice right now, which is nice because it gives me a quiet house to make sure I get a video ready for you guys. But it also, it does warrant me a little bit of time for a puppy in the afternoon after work. Um, but it also enables a little bit of free time for a puppy. <laughs> but thankfully... The way it'll work out, it should be fine. Um, she will be alone during the day while we're all at school and work and stuff. But I, I get home early enough where she'll probably sleep most of that time anyway. Or terrorize the cat one. Or they'll probably take naps together. That's my hope. <laughs> I truly want them to be best friends. So we'll see how that goes. So we are expanding our family of six if you count the pumpkin to seven now you're going to include Shelby and like I told you guys um, Shelby it came from the movie Still Magnolias we love that movie and we both agreed on that name we wanted something kind of southern something short something personable and um, we're very excited about this new venture our new baby we're having a girl <laughs> Um, the people that we are getting this particular pup from, it's very funny because I know two other people who are getting puppies too from the same litter, which is kind of nice. If we want to have puppy play dates, I know two people that I can call like that and say, hey, let's get together at the park or something and let the pups hang out. Um, but they're very kind. They're very generous. Um, we get a 
yes, we're paying for this puppy, but really, I'm sure we are just covering vet cost and bring them board. Not even that, because she's been so kind and so loving towards these puppies. Um, she has raised them as her own puppies. And, you know, when you get a sweet animal from a home, a loving home, going into another loving home, this puppy should make an easy transition, is our hope. I'm just so stinking excited. Yay! Um, by the time you watch this, it will probably be... Probably Thursday. I'm going to shoot for Wednesday, but I can't promise. So it'll probably be Thursday's video. Today is Monday, so we are picking her up on Tuesday. Um, in the hall, I told you while I was at the store, I went ahead and picked up her, a few of her belongings, her new things. I'm very excited. And the neat thing is, we pretty much ha I pretty much have a three-day weekend to hang out with her and kind of get to know her and her get to know me very well along with so the kids will have time with her all morning long. And by the time they leave for practice, I'll already be back, um, or at least coming back in. So she's not gonna spend a whole lot of time alone the first couple, week and a half maybe. Um, when the kids go back to school, there will be an adjustment time again, but I'm hoping we can work towards that and make it a little bit easier of a transition for everyone. The kids don't realize how much work a puppy can be and it's like having another baby. And so, yeah, but it's okay, we're excited. I uh, thank you for joining us on this journey and you're gonna see many pictures and videos and stuff of Shelby mixed in. Um, stick around after this, I'm gonna show you some clips of when she gets, we pick her up and she gets introduced to each of our children and if I'm guessing at it right, what will probably happen is we may, we may be picking her up right before we pick up the boys from football practice um, is how it might work out. I don't know. We'll see. I do know that... Um, I do know that the daughter will already be home from practice, unless she happens to stay the night at a friend's house. <laughs> we still don't know those plans quite yet. Um, and if that's the case, I'll just tell her she needs to come home for a minute because we have some important news to tell her. So she doesn't feel so left out. I don't want her to feel left out at all by any means. So, all right guys, I thank you for watching all of our videos. Um, you guys are so important to me, and I am thankful for each and every one of you. Stick around. You will have different kinds of videos coming up. I just wanted to, to include you into the special event in our life because you're special to me. You're part of my family, too. And so I'm going to grow by four paws. So are you. Okay? Thanks for watching. See you on the flip side. Thanks, Colin. See you tomorrow.